What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ Prospect Profiles. Today we're focusing on Nick Patan of the uh, Portland Winterhawks. Uh, eligible for the 2013 NHL entry draft, playing on one of the best teams in the dub. He's got uh, 60 points, 235 games, to uh, 24 goals and 36 assists, and a uh, plus 38. So really electrifying numbers. And uh, you know, with Canada Pacific at the U17s last year, three goals in five games. So you know, bouncing up. Putting up good offensive numbers. I don't know why I said bouncing up. Sound like an idiot. Last year, uh, his first full season in the Western Hockey League had 35 points in 61 games, and uh, had no points in 22 playoff games. So he's played 29 career playoff games, and is pointless in those 29 games. However, this is his biggest year offensively. Obviously, uh, one of those big factors is not going to HL the so They change the curve on his stick. I guess. Uh, I guess if I use a different curve, I'd be in the NHL. But no, it's all seriousness, that's, I guess, giving him more confidence, and he's really lighting it up. He's playing in more situations than he ever has uh, on special teams, really improved his defensive acumen, and, uh, you know, playing in roles he, he hadn't played before, which is, you know, pretty uh, a pretty big deal for, uh, for the kid. And, uh, you know, he's been a good offensive. I mean, with the North Shore midget AAA team in uh, 2009, when he was uh, 14, he had 139 points in 57 games, so... The offensive numbers have been there everywhere he's played, and uh, you know he's not that big. He's 5'9", 165 pounds. You know, non-idealistic size, but can play center and the wing. But uh, you know, the versatility is there, and the offensive creativity is there. Um, did a couple pieces on other small guys in the draft, and I think you know in the new post lockout or post first lockout, uh, NHL smaller guys have a chance to contribute and play big roles in uh, in team successes, and he's one of those guys. Um, I'm not going to go somewhere second or third round. I don't think he'll be a first round pick because of the size, but um, you know, I, I don't think you can deny this kid's offensive creativity and its prowess uh, with the puck, so that's something you got to look at. And uh, Portland right now is pretty much my favorite for the Memorial Cup. Uh, they're definitely my favorite in the dub. Um, and I look for him to play a huge role. I mean, he's pointless in 29 playoff games. That's going to change. Uh, that, that's one thing you can, you can put, bet your bottom dollar on. Is he's going to start producing in the playoffs, and uh, he'll be a big factor for them. they got a hell of a team up there. And, uh, you know, you get a kid like this carrying the load. He'll uh, turn 18 on March 22nd, so he's still 17. So, and I look for him possibly to play a big role next year for Canada at WJC. Uh, you know, I just did the piece on what Canada needs to do to uh, to better themselves for the 2014 WJC and putting a kid like this on the team could uh, could be it but I uh, will see what happens that's why this episode of the power play with CJ prospect profiles on Nicholas Patent of the Portland Winterhawks stay tuned for more episodes for the season and beyond later guys